Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfigures.com and today I'm going to talk to you about a coffee product called Before You Speak. Now, uh, I haven't really covered coffee before on my YouTube, ch YouTube channel. I wasn't, I wasn't a big coffee drinker until recently, to be honest. Uh, in fact, this product has is, is kind of changed my coffee habits uh, quite, quite uh, dramatically. And I never really drank coffee. I just went straight into the um, caffeine tablets for the performance enhancing benefits when I was training and bodybuilding and whatnot. Um, I guess I had some coffees with when I was fasting and in ketogenic, but um, ketogenic diets. But it was never really a big part of my day-to-day -day life. And part of that is because I've done genetic testing and I found that I've got this. Oh, I'm a slow caffeine metabolizer, and I've noticed it really impacts my sleep. So I have to make sure I have it in the morning, which is not a big issue. But um, you know, some people uh, are the opposite. They can have coffee right before bed and fall asleep great. So anyway. Uh, a couple years ago, I was in Australia, I caught up with a good mate of mine, and he said, hey, I've got a gift for you, and it was a box like this. Actually, it was a couple of boxes, and um, he said, oh, it's a, I think it was a mate of his, a company was set up, he said, oh, it's an instant coffee uh, brand, and I was like, oh, okay, it's a bit interesting. That was back in 2019, I believe, fast forward two years, and um, yeah, I've now got multiple boxes and uh, pretty much it's a daily staple for myself, my wife and our team here at alexfirst.com. So I thought, you know what, let's let's get, whip out the camera and, and talk about this product because it is quite interesting. It is an Australian company that were founded in 2017. Uh, they do ship internationally. So if you're watching this in America, then yes, you can get the Before You Speak uh, coffee sachets sent to you. Uh, in fact, if you do a big enough order, you get free shipping, which is great. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's just cover it because their coffee, it's not just a typical instant coffee brand. It's, there's, there's some unique things going on with the sachets, some unique flavors, some unique ingredients, but also their product range. I mean, you can tell it's kind of a little bit biohacking, a little bit performance coffee, a little bit uh, the keto fasting world as well. Uh, some of their products are like keto friendly and whatnot. But most importantly, I, I think it's... um. A really good taste like I really enjoy the coffees it's, it's something that I actually look forward to now uh, you know experimenting with some of these more unique blends so so what I thought I'd do in this video is run through a little bit about the product uh, the blends the product offerings they have and um, share my experiences do a few taste tests because there are some products here I haven't actually tried yet so I thought hey let's do them on camera because uh, there's some that I love and there's one or two that I've had that I'm like yeah, no, not having that again. Uh, so I thought I'd share that uh, feedback with you. Okay, so what are the key things you need to know about before you speak? Well, like I said, it's an Australian company. Um, they sell these boxes of instant coffee. And they come in sachets like, like so. So you get a box like this, open it up, and you got your sachets in there. It's great for traveling, great for when you want a coffee and you come, you're in a rush. Um, I live in quite a rural area, so we don't have any cafes around me or coffee shops. Uh, it's, so, it's, so this is this is my uh, coffee outing when I have one of these in the morning. Um, I believe they only started with one or two blends. Uh, this one, the OG, being their performance coffee. Now, uh, it's quite a unique blend. You've got a bit of MCT oil in there, ginseng powder, turmeric powder, green coffee bean, black pepper, and stevia. So it's artificially sweetened. Well, no, it's not artificially sweetened. I shouldn't say artificially sweetened. It's naturally sweetened with stevia. There are no artificial sweeteners. There's no ASK or uh, sucralo, um, what's the other one? Uh, aspartamine and stuff. There's nothing like that in it. So that's all good. And for those of you that don't like stevia or want to sweeten it with your own sweeteners, you can get unsweetened uh, blends now, which is good as well. Now, um, they're not organic. They're not a certified organic company. However, their coffee beans are single sourced from a Colombian grower who does not use any chemicals or pesticides. Um, but because of all the other ingredients that add into these blends, um, they couldn't get the organic certification. Because like I said, um, you've got one, two, three, six different ingredients in here. Some of the other blends, they have, you know, more like 12 in there. So um, I can understand that. But they do say that the company does say that they, you know, are doing their best to source the best ingredients possible, which I, I believe them because uh, you spend a bit of time following this company and, and you know, follow, following their blog and whatnot. And yeah, I, I can see these guys are the real deal. Um, they're not, they are passionate about this sort of stuff, right? Which comes through in the product. So that is all good. 
Like I said, they're Aussie based, but they do ship internationally. There's a $15 flat rate for shipping. However, if you do an order over $130, I believe, you get free shipping, so that is great. And that's what I do here in New Zealand. I get a couple of boxes at a time. So let's have a look at their coffee range. If you head over to their website, beforeyouspeakcoffee.com and click on shop, you'll see that their products are split into three categories. You've got your coffees, you've got all your creamers, and then you've got all your merchandise. They've got quite a unique product range. Uh, with some interesting blends in there. I have a bunch of them here. I've tasted a, a few of them as well. So, so what I thought I'd do is go through all of the coffee blends and uh, if I've got them here, I'll give them a taste or share my thoughts or feedback. Um, and yeah, just share any interesting uh, insights on the way. So, okay, so when you first get to the shop, you see Performance Coffee come up as their main tagline, right? So that was what the company first released with their, their original product, uh, the OG, which I have lying around here. Um, since then, they've diversified into other product ranges such as, you know, their fat burning coffee and their adrenal coffee, decaf, and um, even an immunity coffee, but we'll touch on them later. So most of the products you buy, you'll see the $69 here, uh, another one down here for these boxes. Uh, I think they've changed the shape a little bit compared to the cubes that I have here, uh, but you'll see that's $69. Now that's for 30 sachets. So when you crunch the numbers, um, you know, it's a little bit expensive, I guess, for an instant coffee, right? You're spending, what, $2.30? Oh, actually, I think these prices are Australian. So if you're in America, it's probably less than $2. It's probably only, you know, $1.80 or, or thereabouts, depending on the exchange rate. Um, you know, so some could argue, hey, it's a little bit expensive, but remember, this is more of a premium coffee range, uh, and there are some neat ingredients in here. This isn't just your you know, your bulk coffee you're getting from the supermarket that may have an artificial sweetener in it and away you go. This has got, you know, your MCT oils in there, your um, turmeric, um, obviously your flavors, but some of the other ones have got things like uh, ashwagandha in it, uh, your green coffee bean, your black pepper, all those sort of things, right? So you're paying for those ingredients and uh, I guess in a way you're paying for the taste and all that as well. So anyway, Let's look at the first coffee, the, the Performance Coffee, the OG. This is the very first coffee that I experienced from Before You Speak. And it was quite interesting because it's it's got your turmeric in it, right? The turmeric's like the key flavor hit there. So it's, in a way, it's like a spice coffee. Now, what's interesting is the first time I had it, I was like, whoa, this this is quite powerful. You know, this is, this is a bit full on. But I really enjoyed it. After the first few sips, you're like, hey, this is good. Now, um, we live in, in a rural area here in New Zealand and uh, when, Farmers pop in, all the neighbors pop in. You know, I always offer them a cup of coffee or tea. And um, a few times I've just offered them this, right? Instead of grinding up some beans and, and pressing it and whatnot. And uh, everyone that I've given it to has enjoyed it, like everyone. And I'm talking next door neighbor, 18 year old kids who are here just helping out with some laboring to like 70 year old grandmas who, um, you know, very picky with their cup of teas and whatnot. And they've all, all enjoyed it. I, there's never been anyone that's left it and said, no, nah, this isn't for me. So that just shows, you know, it is, it is different, um, but it, it's good, it's enjoyable. So right, that's the original performance coffee. Like I said, turmeric, MCT oil, Siberian ginseng, black pepper, and stevia. Now you can also get different flavors of this performance coffee. So you've got your OG, the original, then you've also got a caramel flavor. You can also get cinnamon spice, and I think you can also get an unsweetened, but I might be wrong on that. Anyway, I actually picked up a box uh, of the Performance Coffee labeled Assorted. And this is neat, because I was like, cool, I can't wait to try some of these flavors. I love my cinnamon, uh, and I also like caramel, right? So you get a box, three different flavors in there, 10 of each, uh, like so. Now, I can tell you now, out of those three, the caramel is the bomb. It's, it's still got the turmeric in it, you still got a, uh, your ginseng, your turmeric, but you've just got um, some natural caramel flavor in there, right? So you still got that spice hit, but you get a little bit of that caramel uh, hit, which is which is really good. And this is my favorite, and I think my wife is quite uh, a fan of this as well because it seems to be the hard one to find whenever we make coffee. Of course, you've got the OG, which I've already talked about, and then you got cinnamon spice. Now I was pumped to try this because I was like, "Whoa, this is just going to be like the turmeric and cinnamon," and um, yeah. It, it really let me down. In fact, um, I couldn't finish the coffee. It was it was that bad. Now my wife didn't mind it. She was like, oh, it's okay, but it wasn't her go-to out of the sorted box. So um, cinnamon spice, yeah, not too much of a fan there, but ingredients wise, it's exactly the same. It's just got your cinnamon in there instead of the caramel and the other ones. I've got a sample pack here, or 
a test trial pack of the Thermo Coffee here. Uh, so you got seven pack, seven sachets in one of these. Now, cost-wise, you pay a little bit more for the smaller serving, which is what you'd expect. But it's a good way to trial a new product. Now, um, I haven't tried this yet, but what it's got is you, it's got your green tea, it's got L-carnitine in it, uh, it's got L-tyrosine, it's got your green tea extract, lean GVB, which I'm not too familiar with. Um, what else have we got in here? Zinc, uh, chromium, potassium, selenium, sunflower legumes, and your sweetness. So, it, this is for um, you know your fat burning, you know, shredding type thing. Now, personally, I've never really been a fan of. of fat burner products or supplements. Uh, I have used some when I was bodybuilding and right at the end there, like you're on a severe diet and, and you take whatever you could. So, hey, um, if you're cutting, then sure, maybe something like this would be good. Uh, but it's not it's not really my cup of tea and uh, nor, nor is it my wife's, which is actually why I haven't even tried this. So, um, maybe I'll go mix up a little bit now and I'll let you know what it tastes like. It's okay. It doesn't have the same flavor hit that you get with the performance coffees, but I guess people were more attracted to this blend, more for the uh, fat loss properties than the pure taste of it, right? Now, uh, I should mention, I have my coffees with a little bit of grass-fed raw milk, but you can get some keto-friendly uh, creamers, which we'll look at soon as well. Now, I'm gonna be buzzing by the end of this video with all the coffee I'm testing. Anyway, so that's your, um, Thermogenic, what they call Octane coffee. Next up, they've got their Collagen coffee. Now, I've got another small pack here of their Collagen Glow coffee. They do three flavors or three options for your um, Collagen coffee. You've got your uh, Original, you've got your Unsweetened, which is free of Stevia, and then you've got Mocha. We've actually got a cup of the Mocha here, which is the first time I've had this one, and it's, it's quite good. In fact, um, I may be drinking that one for a while. To mix things up. It doesn't have that same spice kick. You're not getting your turmeric in this, so you don't get that, you know, real real spicy sort of tickle in the mouth type thing. Um, the little bit of chocolate in it, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, a bit of cacao in there. So you get a little bit of that, uh, but it, it, it's not overpowering. It's not like a really sweet, you know, mocha coffee that you can get from the shops. Uh, so what do we get in the collagen coffee? Well, We've got 1.2 grams of collagen, we've got silica, we've got biotin, we've got B6, camu camu, and lysine. So, it's a pretty good blend. Of course, you've got your stevia sweetener in there as well. There's a few other things in here, proline. Um, you've still got your MCT oil powder in there. It's quite a neat product. I mean, 1.2 grams of collagen isn't, you know, it's not a massive amount. But, uh, you know, for some people that aren't getting hardly any collagen in their diet, um, and you want to sneak it in, and a coffee, then yeah, it's a good it's a good option. And again, taste-wise, yeah, I, I like this. I kind of associate before you speak coffees with the turmeric, you know, that spice it. Uh, so so having this one here without the turmeric in it is kind of interesting, but I am enjoying it, so um, I'll definitely stick with it. Okay, next up you have the adrenal decaf coffee. Now, I think this is a newer product. I remember seeing a bit of announcement, I think it was last year or maybe earlier this year, uh, which was cool because I often ask them about a decaf coffee range uh, because I try not to have coffee every morning. Like I do it on shooting days and big big um, admin days, but you know, days where I'm just hanging out with the family, I, I, I don't and typically on the weekend I won't either. But I've, I've become so accustomed to having these little uh, sachets with, with my breakfast, I was like, oh, it'd be nice to get a decaf one. So when they released this, I was like, oh, this is cool. Now, I haven't actually tried it yet. Um, I've just got so much of their coffee lying around here. I haven't got around to placing another order yet, uh, but I, I will when, when I have to place some more. But I do have, um, I did find this packet. I think this may have came with an order. It's, they call it the reset. reset. Uh, I don't know if it's the same because this new one's called Adrenal. So anyway, what, what do you need to know about the Adrenal coffee? Well, it comes with uh, ashwagandha, it comes with kamu kamu, valium root, and theanine, L-theanine in it, which is which is neat. You can see why it's it's more of an adrenal blend uh, with all those ingredients. Uh, you also get a little bit of zinc and uh, magnesium in there and something called cell charge. Uh, I don't know what cell charge is. I can see it's on, um, it's a brand on the sachet itself. Okay, so it's a mineral, vitamin, antioxidant blend, um, polyphenols, flavonoids, organic acids, all sorts of stuff in it. Looks all cool. 
Um, so they've included, I think it's 10 milligrams of that in it. So that's interesting. Uh, if you want to know more about that, again, cellcharge.com.au. So uh, that is neat. Now, um, now it is, like I said, the decaf coffee. Uh, so you could have this at night time. And in fact, they even market it as that, where uh, you, know, you can have this post-workout before bed or whenever you're craving a cup of coffee without the caffeine hit, right? So my wife um, has a lot of decaf coffee, uh, especially when she's pregnant and stuff. So, so even though it's a decaf blend, it does have a few of these other uh, ingredients in it. So she might be a bit hes hesitant because of that. But hey, for people that um, you know want that flavor hit, uh, want that cup of coffee in the morning uh, or later in the day without worrying about the caffeine or getting too uh, addicted to caffeine, then hey, the adrenal decaf coffee is a good option. Now, um, I believe it only comes in the mocha flavor, and like I said, there's no there's no turmeric in this one as well, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's a similar taste to the, um, the collagen mocha, which I have here. You know what? Let's go test this. I'll go, I'll go make a cup and give it a try. Okay, it doesn't taste as sweet as some of the other coffees. It's good though. It's, it's a little bit more earthy, woody, uh, than, than the other blend. But it's definitely not quite as sweet, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, you can always add your own stevia, right? So that is the Adrenal Decaf Mocha flavor. Now, I don't quite know how I feel about this last product. Uh, it's called their Immunity Coffee, and I think this is their most recent launch. Um, I don't know if they just pushed it out because of COVID and whatnot, or they've been working on it for a while. Uh, but they call it their immunity coffee, and it's uh, twice a day. You've got a morning and an evening coffee blend. Uh, sorry, drink. Um, now, I believe the afternoon one doesn't have any caffeine. Yeah, that's right. It's got decaf coffee in it. The morning one does have your, your single origin Colombian coffee. Now, I, I don't know about this because I think from an immune function, Caffeine uh, isn't necessarily helping it. Uh, I may be wrong. It's not something I've looked into in, in great detail. Over on my website, alexfuse.com, we actually wrote a blog on the Neurohacker Immune Supplement. We took, took a pretty deep dive, my team and I, uh, into that supplement, all the ingredients and the immune system as a whole. I, now, I know for a fact that doesn't include caffeine, that product, and I don't know if we um, touch on caffeine in that article, but I, I don't know if I totally agree with like caffeine helping the immune system, right? But before you speak, our coffee company, right? So they sell these coffee blends and um, I can kind of see why it's, it's a good idea, you know, for someone who, who really likes their coffee, but all of a sudden they're coming down with a cold. So they want to they wanna, um, keep that coffee hit coming in, but they want to also look after the body. It's it's an odd one, but uh, hey, I won't get too caught up into it. Instead, let's look at the, at the product itself. Now, just to clarify, all of the products I've mentioned so far, you can get them in these 30 um, serve boxes or in the seven serve sachets. Now, the boxes all cost, uh, what did I say, $60 was it? Um, and that's Australian pricing, uh, $69, sorry, uh, for 30, right? Now, the Immunity coffee is done a little bit different. Now, a box costs $38 and you only get 14 serves, which is seven days and seven nights. So, does that mean it's seven days worth? It must do, yeah. So you're paying $38 for a week's worth of um, immunity coffee, which is rather expensive. But hey, um, you could say the same about the Neurohacker immunity supplements. And I guess the reason why you can justify that extra, extra cost is you're not having it every day. Well, I don't, and I don't think you're meant to. It's more like when you're coming down with something or you know your partner gets sick or you're in a high stress job at the moment, um, phase in your job, so you want to boost your immune function, right? So anyway, it is expensive. I haven't tried it and unfortunately I don't have any here to try, so I can't, um, can't share my thoughts on the taste point of view. But let's have a quick look at the uh, ingredients. Now, like I said, it is a morning and an afternoon, so let's look at the morning one first. Uh, you got your coffee, you got your MCT oil in there, you got natural flavors, andrographis, I'm not too sure what that is, uh, olive, olive leaf extract, uh, echinacea, zinc, uh, fulvic mineral, I hope I pronounced that right, um, which is from the cell charge that we talked about earlier, stevia, and then vitamin D. So yeah, you can see um, there's some really good immune 
uh, supplements in there, uh, echinacea, vitamin D, zinc, um, olive leaf. And then in the afternoon, you've got your decaf coffee, you've got your cocoa powder, MCT oil, elderberry, that's a good one, uh, turmeric, manuka honey, another good one, cinnamon, um, Himalayan salt, there's another product here, I don't even know what that is or how to pronounce it, uh, ginger root salt, and stevia. So it's quite a unique product, I think. Like, yeah, they're good on them for doing it, and um, I'm sure they'll get a lot of uptake. And it might be one of those products that, hey, if you, if you place an order over it before you speak, you, uh, you get your staple coffee products, but then you, you grab a box of this as well, just to have on hand uh, for when you do feel a little bit run down and you want that you know, mineral boost, uh, nutrient boost, right? So, because remember, it is quite expensive. Now, like I said, I don't have it on hand, so I can't report on the taste, uh, but it looks like it's got some good reviews on the website, so that is all cool. All right, so those are all the coffees. I said at the start of this that there seem to be three categories of products, your coffees, your creamers, and your merchandise. I don't want to look at the merchandise, and we've already looked at the coffees, so what we'll look at next is the creamers. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of these on hand. I used to have a few of them, but um, we must have consumed them. All I have left is one little sachet. Now, the creamers are split into two. You've got your collagen creamers and your keto creamers. Your keto creamers are a lot of fats and fibers and are 100% keto friendly, so they shouldn't spike insulin in any way. Um, so in those keto creamers, you've got acacia fiber, olive oil, coconut oil, your MCTs, right? The collagen creamers uh, obviously have collagen in them. I think they've got a three, two or three different types of collagen in it. Uh, and you've also got pre and pro uh, biotics in there as well. And you can get them in different flavors. Effectively, if you're dairy intolerant or um, you're following a keto diet and you can't have milk in your coffee or you don't want to have milk in your coffee, um, though you could just use cream, I guess, uh, these are a good option. Now we'll look at the collagen ones first. So with the collagen creamers, you've got three different flavors, your natural, chocolate, and uh, vanilla. Now there is a little bit of stevia in there, and like I said before, it's, it's got a collagen blend, you've got your MCT, you've got your olive oils in there, uh, I think there was coconut oil perhaps, but it's, it's really about getting those fats in. So one surf, for instance, has a couple grams of fat, a couple grams of protein, um, and only one and a half, or only half a gram of sugar. Uh, so that's your collagen creamer. Now, again, you can mix that into your coffee, mix it all up for a, for a milk substitute, or like they say on the website, you know, you could use this in smoothies or in recipes or just um, in a protein shake or something like that as well. For the keto creamers, these have no sugars, so the collagen ones had half a gram of sugar, zero grams in the keto creamers. You got five grams of fat compared to two in the other one, uh, but you don't have any protein, all right? So it's, it's a high fat uh, creamer mix. And it's predominantly made up of MCT oil, um, you've got your fiber in there, and um, you've got olive oil as well. A little bit of coconut oil and then some stevia. And from a flavor point of view, again, you've got vanilla, natural, and in this case, caramel. So yeah, it would be cool to have. Um, actually, I have a keto caramel creamer here. So what I might do is um, I'll make up another co cup of coffee and mix this into it and let you know what I think of it. All right, so I mixed up that caramel keto one. As you can see, there's a good amount of, uh, I just did a half a cup because I'm, I'm gonna be buzzing all day otherwise. There's some, some nice froth at the top there. Uh, I should mention, it did require a fair amount of stirring and even after all that stirring, I still see the odd little lump, so it would be good to put this in a blender or, or shake it up. Um, but now let's try it. Yeah, it's good. I, I mean, I'd much prefer that than just having a black coffee. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, again, though, I'd probably just rather put some cream or, or you know, some uh, raw milk in there myself, uh, especially because you're paying 60 bucks for one of these, right? So $60, I think it comes with, oh, you get 60 servings. So they're a, a dollar a serving, not as, not as expensive as the coffee sachets, but of course, if you're adding that to your coffee mix, it starts getting expensive. Um, if you're into the keto thing though, like those keto creamer sachets could be handy. Again though, like from a cost point of view, you're better off just buying cream or MCT oil uh, and having that in the pantry. But what it does mean is you could, if you're going away or you're going camping or you're, I don't know, you're just in a hurry one day, you can just grab some of these when you get to work, mix them up and away you go, right? Like, 
And I guess that touches on one of the main benefits of the Before You Speak coffee products. It's convenience. Uh, you get not only good tasting coffee products, but you're getting coffee products that have all those extra nutrients and you know, your MCT oils, um, your green tea, your turmeric and all that sort of stuff, right? And you got them in these sachets. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I've grown to like them. It's because if I'm on the road, I can throw some of these in my bag and know all I need is hot water and I've got you know, a good quality coffee on hand. And in fact, like I said at the start of this video, my wife and I and our team are having this quite a bit uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Anyway, just I guess we've become a little bit addicted to the to the taste and uh, the convenience as well. You know, it's it's easy. You just open a bag, but open a little sachet, pour it in a cup, mix it up, and away you go. You don't have to mess around with grinding and all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not a coffee purist, um, so some people go like, "Oh my God, you have an instant coffee." Hey, that's that's yeah, each their own, right? It doesn't. It's not really something I've ever got into on the coffee front. I'm more about convenience, taste, and um, the health side of things. Like, I don't want to have coffee from mass produced, don't know where it's coming from, multiple blend, you know, like, that doesn't really appeal to me. I'd rather good quality ingredients. Now, unfortunately, they're not certified organic, but like I said at the start of this video, I, I, I trust these guys, and I think they um, are doing their best uh, to get the best ingredients possible for for us, which is great. So we've touched on the coffee, we've touched on the creamers, and the last thing in this shop is all their uh, merchandise. Now, again, I'm not gonna get into that, but you can get some neat products if you do become a big fan of the Before You Speak. Uh, but the main thing is you've got all these seven day serving pouches um, and a lot of trial pouches, right? So if you wanna go in and you wanna try some of these flavors, but you're a little bit nervous, um, you know, it's a good way to do it. Like for instance, I ended up getting a whole box of cinnamon spice and a box of assorted and uh, I should have just got the assorted before buying this because yeah, I, like I said, I don't like the cinnamon spice. So get the assorted box, get a few of the, the single serve, sorry, the, the trial serve pouches, get some of the creamers, taste them, see how they go, see if you rate them and um, if you do then sweet, go back and buy more. If you don't then whatever, I mean you can still chuck them in a travel bag and you've got something there if you ever get caught out, right? So I'm not affiliated with them. I don't have a discount code or anything. If that ever changes, I'll put a link at the top below if I've got a discount to share with you guys, but at the moment I don't. And if you have tried their products uh, and these flavors you like or you don't like, please leave your comments below. If you've never heard of these guys before, I'm curious, yeah, if you've never heard of them, um, leave, leave a comment below as well because uh, I, I think they're getting some good traction in Australia. Um, I don't know how big the exposure is in America, so that's part of the reason why I thought I'd do this video, just, you know, maybe it'll introduce a new product to a few people out there. Um, otherwise, if you've got any questions, leave them below, and be sure to hit subscribe because I'll be doing more product reviews in the not too distant future. In fact, I've got two or three more to film straight after this, so they're gonna be rather interesting given the amount of coffee I've just consumed in the last half an hour or so. Anyway guys, I'll see you soon, bye.